people in the town of Montville have long been aware of the continuing existence of the state's Indians due to the efforts of the area's Mohegan tribe, who have had a museum in town since 1931. Well, I don't ever remember a time when the museum wasn't a large part of my life. Um, my Aunt Gladys was always the teacher, always being certain that we didn't forget um, our culture. Gladys Tantaquidgen runs the museum alone since the death of her brother Harold in 1989. In 1993, she was officially recognized as the Mohegan Tribal Medicine Woman. My father John Tantaquidgen and my brother Harold Tantaquidgen, they built this little stone room in 1931 for the purpose of having some place to display uh, many of the Mohegan made items, basketry and woodwork and some of those things. And uh, baskets in this one section were made by my father, John Tanaquidgen. He was the last Mohegan basket maker. And uh, some of the bowls and spoons and other cooking utensils were also made by him. He used uh, oak for his splints for the baskets. It's really tough, doesn't wear out. And for the cooking utensils, uh, they used uh, maple. It's very difficult to, to really dislike or hate someone when you really understand where they're coming from. And that's what the museum does. It teaches the non-Indians in town. And that's, I think, <clears throat> was the genius of my Aunt Gladys, really. Mm -hmm. yeah, and she's, my uncle. She's even, and she's one, I would say, in a, in a, in a great line of great survivalists and great thinkers in our tribe. Uh, her being a major, a major person in the sense that she spans the last century and this century being born in 1899 so she helped us make it through the 20th century but really what is, has enabled the Mohegan to survive uh, aside from just certain flukes of history like the fact that we weren't wiped out initially by disease were the decisions of, of key individuals within the tribe you know survivalists um, conscious survivalists it's not a passive thing it's something that you have to be actively engaged in all the time